Okay, so now I'm drinking another Japanese sake. It's called Kamosumori. And then... Naeba Sam Brewer is the one who's producing uh, Kamosumori. And I actually um, found this sake when I went to Niigata and then stayed at Tamakia. That's one of the... It's kind of... Ryokan style hotel in Niigata city. It's really kind of like really isolated from the um, big city in, in Niigata prefectures. So it's kind of hard to get there. But once you are there, um, there's nothing but just keep drinking and eating. Drinks are fantastic. The food is so delicious. So if you guys are interested in coming to Japan and then, you know, after you enjoy the major city and then everything, I recommend you to Tamakia to enjoy all the fine dining, sake, and then also Kamosumori as well. So if you want to know the details, just let me know. So cheers. Yeah, I, I, I really should learn, you know, look for terminology, how to express how it tastes and everything because I just don't have it in myself yet. I mean, I do that well. A little bit better in Japanese if you take a look at the Japanese videos, but like in English, like I don't do that, so you know, I'm gonna try to learn that for maybe in the future and not anytime soon. But anyway, so this year has been like a lot of things, you know, for everyone, including myself. And in 2021, it's very weird year that I'm really you know, grateful for myself, family, and then everyone who are safe and then um, enjoy their lives, you know, on their own with the loved ones. But I, I heard some good, bad news, unfortunate things. And um, one of my old friends from the time that when I was in LA, uh, he passed away and I'm, I'm sure some of you guys heard as well and um, it really hit me and made me think a lot of things and um, other things happened so particularly you know this week I was feeling down except except here's the thing I I heard the good news from him specifically that he got finally married and then I felt so happy for him. He deserves the happiness. I, I really thought, honestly speaking, I thought that he's going to get married much, much earlier. But I mean, finally this year he got married. And then I saw his pictures. You know, he's very happy. And I'm really, really happy for him as well. So I said congratulations to him. I share the information, the news with my friends who know him. They are so happy for him as well. And then I'm sure you know whom I'm talking about. That is you. So again, congratulations on your marriage. I'm really happy for you. You deserve everything. And please stay happy. Play hard, but please be safe. So I hope to say congratulations to you in person. Hopefully next year, next year, well, it's probably like by 2023 anyway. Either I'm going to see you in LA or if you go to party in other countries, I might show up there to say congratulations because this is personal anyway. So here's to you. Congratulations, and then if you come to Japan or any of you guys, I will get you Kamosumori. It's very sweet, actually. So, if you don't like sweet alcohol, then that's I'm gonna give you something else. But if you like the sweet alcohol and it, it goes really well with, with certain you know dishes, I highly recommend Kamosumori. So, I feel honored to actually say it in publicly to you but anyway i'm a little bit drunk so yeah for now goodbye and i'm happy for you bye bye